All right, guys, I very well might have just broken the whole entire Land Insights business model. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. Uh, I stepped in as CEO in December. Uh, I'm recording this at the end of March currently. And since I've stepped in as CEO, I've taken about $500,000 a year of revenue that we had within the business and thrown it away. And that might sound ridiculous. I might be the worst CEO ever, ever. But I've made a ginormous bet that I want to share with you guys here. Um, I'm going to reveal some new features that just hit the platform and all sorts of good stuff like that. So if you guys uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up. It means a lot. My mom tends to watch these. And it's just kind of weird when she looks at her son's videos. And she's like, 12 likes, dude. 12 likes. You had 500 views and 12 people like the video. She gives me a lot of crap for it. So I would appreciate if you could get that up to like a respectable 20, um, 25 maybe. Uh, all right. So first things first, um, new menu layout here inside of Land Insights. I think the new UI is beautiful. Um, we've been working on like a big, big, big Land Insights 3.0 potential release down the line with revamping our UI. But this is like a Land Insights 2.1 or 2.2 with the new updated UI, uh, which is really, really pretty. Now, there's kind of three big things that I need to share. Okay, I've been CEO for coming up on three months now. The first big change that I produced um, for our users, and there's a lot of changes behind the scenes, but for our users was reducing our a la carte data cost by 18%. So I pulled down our a la carte data cost for all of our users to five cents per record, no minimums. Uh, you don't have to buy in bulk or any of that stuff. So five cents per record a la carte. Um, we have an unlimited data plan at $4,500 a year as well. Now, for whatever reason, there's some knuckleheads out there that get confused. Uh, you got to hold a Land Insight subscription. So you can't just come in and get five cents of record a la carte. The reason that we are able to provide such insane discounts is because people hold uh, their subscription. Think about it like the Costco model. Our goal is we have kind of our hard cost, which is our subscription, and we reduce our variable costs over time for our users. That's always been our whole entire ethos. So that was that was a pretty big, pretty big shift. In fact, you know, one of the funny things that comes up a lot is like people are like, okay, some are like, I get the unlimited data plan, but dude, come on, be real. Is it really unlimited? Like, come on, shoot me straight, bro. Like, what's the limit? I'm like, no, dude, it's forty five hundred dollars a year. It's truly unlimited. In fact, we we have a Land Insights user that uh, upgraded to unlimited when this when the platform first came out. Okay, so it, it, the, the data platform launched uh, end of October, and they got the data platform the unlimited plan immediately. And I think they've pulled eleven million records <laughs> since the data plan's been live at forty five hundred dollars a year. You can go as crazy with it as you want. Okay, truly unlimited. There's a lot of plans out there that aren't unlimited, even though they say they're unlimited, but in the fine print, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, you um, pull more than X amount of records and we are gonna bill you an additional increment. It's like, that's not unlimited, ding dong, truly unlimited. Um, but again, you have to hold a Land Insight subscription. But I promise you with what I'm about to share right now, holding a Land Insight subscription is going to seem uh, remarkably cheap in comparison um, to what it used to be. So let's check it out. Secondly, the second thing that we did, and sorry, I'm a bit excited, honestly. I'm drinking a lot of coffee this morning, and we just shipped some, like literally just shipped some updates into the platform right now that I'm about to show you for the first time ever. So I'm jittery. I'm excited. This has been our baby. I've spent a lot of money. We've spent a lot of money building this and a lot of time and a lot of effort, blood, sweat, and tears to build this platform. So anytime we have big releases, Honestly, it's like, for me, it's like skydiving. I don't know, like it, it gets me in my feels. I get a little bit of like a, a rush. So I apologize if I'm a little too excited here. Um, this month in February, the second big update that we pushed is with our skip tracing. So we brought our skip trace cost down to three cents per record for our skips. Um, yeah, crazy pricing. Again, you don't have to pre-buy 10,000, 20,000 credits in advance to get that price. No matter who you are in the platform, no matter how many credits you have on your account, no matter if you're doing one skip trace or a million skip traces, you're at three cents per record, um, which is, again, bonkers. Now, we do have a, a super premium version that you can upgrade if you want to get like all the relatives, phone numbers and emails and age and a whole slew of additional information. Um, but for most of us, like if we're doing cold calling or cold texting, that standard three cent per record skip tracing is plenty. Like that's what I use in my business. Okay. 
um, it, it works. Now, if you're doing like really advanced stuff, you're trying to cold email people, or maybe you're trying to do airship deals where you're getting a hold of family members, like all that stuff. The premium version is is worth using, but selectively. I don't think you should just use it all the time. The third update. Now, this is the big Kahuna. Okay. Um, the third update. Well, inside of Land Insights, as you guys probably know, uh, we were the first tool on the market to have any kind of AI scrubbing. And when we first started AI scrubbing, again, we were the only kid on the block. And the way that we we're doing it was very expensive, like very expensive. We were using a, multi a multitude of tools where we had to ping these APIs and you get billed every single time that API was pinged. And so it was very, very expensive for us. But over time, we've been able to secure better and better pricing as the platform has scaled. What I've said from the beginning is I said, as we develop better of economies of scale, I will pass off as many of the discounts as I possibly can to our users as it relates to variable costs. Now the subscription to Land Insights will never change. That, that's a fact, it will never change. Maybe it'll even go up over time, who knows, for new users. Everyone else is obviously grandfathered in, but the Land Insights subscription will never be lower than what it is. But my goal is to shift variable costs like we did with skip tracing, like we did with a la carte data, and like we've now done with our AI scrubbing. So for our Land Insights users, regardless of the quantity of data that you're pulling through the platform, all AI scrubs are free. That includes our road frontage scrub. That includes our wetland scrub, our flood zone scrub, our landlock scrub. If you're pulling from the Land Insights data platform, every single scrub is now free, which is kind of a really big freaking deal. And so if we go down here, you guys will see this scrubbing tab here. We'll go and click on this. And this is where it gets pretty interesting. So you can see you can remove HOA, landlocked, blah, 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 blah. But all of these, landlocked, wetlands, flood zone, free. And what just shipped today is our road frontage scrub, which is free. Now the road frontage scrub is something that I've wanted for literally years. Uh, it first started for me when I started pursuing these like exemption-based subdivides or bigger subdivides in general. The crux was twofold. To find these deals, I needed to be in the right market with the right regulations. And the second thing is I needed to be uh, pursuing properties that had enough road frontage. If I could balance those two, exempt, uh, good exemptions for subdividing and lots of road frontage, that was the layup. That was like the easy, that was like the easiest money you could probably make in land. So I was like, okay, it's really easy to find states that have good exemptions. Think about red states, places like Texas or what have you, easy breezy. But when I would go and pull data in like Whitney County, Texas, so few of those properties had enough road frontage or multi-sided road frontage. And so now you guys can come in, you can set your parameters. You can say, include highways in my scrubbing, include normal roads in my scrubbing, include local roads in scrubbing. You can get really, really granular with it. And I could go take 10,000 records in Whitney County and go pull the 500 that are actually perfectly relevant to my subdivide campaign. Completely changes your marketing spend. I mean, that is a radical difference. And we've been working on the road frontage scrub for four months now. It is bar none the best in class road frontage scrub on the market. We've back tested it against all of the other options out there. It, it, I'm, I'm not exaggerating, it is light years beyond them. A lot of those other tools are uh, misidentifying roads. So they're pulling roads that are like bike paths or dirt roads that you couldn't subdivide off of. They're pulling roads where there might be a hundred yards of setback between the road and the property, the property is actually landlocked. There's just all sorts of weird stuff that we've seen with some of these alternative tools out there. I've seen some of these tools out here and there's a slew of them. There's not, I'm not just talking about one tool individually, but I've seen some of these tools where it only works in a state or a part of a state or a few counties. It doesn't work in other counties. This is nationwide coverage. The accuracy does not shift from county to county. We've back tested it against manual scrubbing. We built a team of VAs that were going through and manually scrubbing tens of thousands of records. And we back tested that against the AI scrub and they are essentially neck and neck. And the only difference is this is instant and it's 100% free. Now I'm not going to BS you guys, just when we look at the, the, scrubbing features, the AI scrubbing features inside of Land Insights, that feature alone was generating the business hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. That's a lot of money just to turn off, right? But my premise here is that I want to build a tool that people never leave, right? 
I want to build a tool that's so freaking compelling that you want to hold a subscription forever. That's my goal. That's our business model. That's a long-term vision though, right? And in the beginning, we couldn't do that because it was so damn expensive for us. Like, okay, I'm willing to break even on things or lose a little bit of money, but I can't be losing tens of thousands of dollars a month. And that's what, what we would have been doing had we made scrubs free immediately or had we had our current skip tracing pricing. We just didn't have those economies of scale. But as we develop them, I don't want to hoard that margin. I want to pass off that margin to our users. Now, can we do it in every regard? No, this is still a for-profit business. So you can't have a company that holistically breaks even for, for every revenue stream. Um, but where we can, especially as the variable cost, I want to continue passing that off. Now, one thing that you guys will learn about Land Insights, or you might already, you might already know this, is we're typically um, not super fast to ship big features, okay? So we ship features every single week. So we are on a very fast cadence for shipping. But when we talk about big features, like the road frontage scrub, or our, our, our comping tool, which is releasing at the end of March, March 31st, the last day of March, the, the comping tool we've been working on for a year and a half. The road furniture scrub we've been working on for four months. Now, a lot of these features, we could have shipped them a long time ago, but we really try to take these things down from every single angle to remove bugs, but also to get in the heads of our users to understand exactly what they would want, right? Our comping tool has gone through dozens of rounds of, of reviews from Land Insights members, other land investors, to pick up these 1% gains here and there to build a tool to where when you use it, you say, dude, these people built this for me. Like, they're in my head right now. This is insane. And when we first started building Land Insights, when we would ship things, it was like we would release it and we'd have two weeks of bug reports and crazy problems. We still have bugs. Like, we still have bumps in the road. Don't kid me. I, I would be kidding if I said we didn't. That's why we have a whole support team for, our, for uh, helping our users. But for the most part, when we ship new features, we really were talking about maybe one to two bug reports in the first week or two. Like we've really mitigated a lot of that bumpiness with bug reports. And that's really the kind of like scratch our own itch. But I also think from our user's perspective, you have all this pent up excitement when a new feature releases. And when you release it and it doesn't work, people aren't going to adopt it. They're not going to build that into their process and continue using it. And in fact, they might even kind of resent you. Like, I've been waiting for months for this. I was so excited and it doesn't even work. And so we want to avoid that at all costs. Where I've seen a lot of these other tools out here, the, the, they're, it's very weird. They're slow to ship in general. So like a lot of the other tools, they don't ship at the same frequency. We have, uh, again, a, a weekly shipping cadence. We've stuck by that because that forces us to innovate. And we have a team of four US-based uh, developers. So we've got the manpower. And when we stick to that cadence, we just know we've got to be pushing the envelope. Now, sometimes it's subtle UI, UX tweaks. Sometimes it's efficiency improvements. Like we just released a uh, pretty big efficiency improvement with our scrubbing with new servers last month that brought our scrub time for the AI scrubs down from minutes to seconds. Um, so again, we're always pushing the envelope. So what's weird is like a lot of these other tools out there, like look at like data tree, for example, how often are they shipping results or shipping features? I can't remember the last time they shipped a big feature to that tool, but a lot of these other tools out here, they're slow to ship on the, the mic, the micro, but they're really fast to ship on the macro. And so it leads to like the big rocks being unfinished or kind of haphazardly put together and just like a little weird. So I, I don't know, I'm, I'm rambling here. Um, long story short, we've tried to be as methodical with these tools as possible, these features within Land Insights. And for me, we knew months ago that we were gonna be pushing our scrubs down to free, but I wanted to sacrifice nothing in terms of the quality. I want the quality to be as if you're paying four cents per scrub because it's free does not mean you get to pass off a lesser value feature to the users. And so we've been working methodically to get this ship for you guys. And I'm so excited. Now, if you guys want to test drive land insights on a demo, fuel the power of it and get a thousand plus free leads with a market that will select for you on that call that you can take with you, no matter if you sign up or, or you don't sign up. Uh, go to landinsights.co slash apply. I'll put that link down below for you guys. Now, this is kind of an interesting example. Again, when I stepped in as CEO three months ago, really my focus was like, how can we build, it's power versus force, right? How can we build an offer that's powerful, not forceful? And so to think about the power versus force dynamic, it's like through power, you want to build a magnet that's just so compelling. 
And that's the offer, right? And one of the things that we were advised immediately in December was the offer before you even sign up, okay? What's the offer before you sign up? Well, it's go and test drive the tool on a demo call, right? But that's not compelling enough. There's not enough reciprocity there. So I said, on this call, we're already picking picking a market in real time and usually we're exporting data in real time. It's like, why don't we do all of that, scrub the data, and then at the end of the call, just give it to the prospective LIA member for free, or land insights member for free. Whether they sign up or not, it's like, they yeah, just pass it off to them there's a high level reciprocity there and it builds a bit of a magnet for us. It's the same thing within the tools. Like if you can keep on passing off big discounts, that's a magnet. You're not stuffing something down someone's throat. They're compelled to come to you because the offer is really good. That's been our goal and that will continue to be our goal. So anyways, guys, it's been a blessing to be CEO for the last three months. Uh, at the end of this month, which is tomorrow, Mr. Rylan Loader will be stepping in as CEO for the next three months. So Rylan and I have this kind of rotational cadence uh, every quarter where we flip flop between CEO. Uh, the reason being is I, I run two businesses outside of Land Insights. Rylan's got a, a monstrous land business outside of Land Insights and he's a coach inside of Leah. So we've got a lot of plates that we're spinning. So the kind of the quarterly CEO cadence is really the only way that we found to make it work. Um, but I'm super excited to see what Rylan brings to the platform. I know he's probably going to go in a slightly different direction than I did. I think we'll have a really nice yin and yang dynamic. But ultimately, I think this just looks like more innovation, more features, better pricing, just more excitement for our users. I think it's a really cool time to be a consumer of land software right now because the envelope's being pushed. To all of our competitors out there, again, it's all love. Seriously, I find the game fun. I think it's awesome to compete and to push the envelope. And I think again, a rising tide lifts all ships. I think it's a great time to be a consumer in the land space. So let's keep on rocking and rolling. I'm so excited to get this released to you guys. This is now live within the Land Insights platform. If you wanna test drive at landinsights.co slash apply. If you're a LIA member, all LIA members now get a 14 day free trial to Land Insights. It's the only place that we give that out for free. Drop it down below uh, inside of our Discord if you're inside of Leah or send one an email. We'll get you guys taken care of. Cheerio. Bye.